Hello and welcome to episode 10 of uh, Back to Infdev. There's one big change here in, in our world. I updated this to the next version of Infdev. So right now we're in Infdev 2010-04-20. That's, uh, this, this version was released five days after the previous version that I was playing. And there's one good reason why I wanted to upgrade <laughs> now. Uh, if we go to the Minecraft wiki here, uh, I had to go and look that up because um, I, I did mention on the last episode that there is a bug in the mob spawning mechanics and I knew that it got fixed uh, on the next version, uh, which is this one. Uh, so there's actually two bug fixes here. Uh, one of them is that hostile mobs no longer spawn in bright areas. Uh, which is nice because uh, I was having that problem, especially in places that I built and they were completely light lit up, uh, such as this place here. And it was kind of annoying because uh, creepers, they, they, especially creepers, they kept spawning here. Um, and uh, I was here, you know, just uh, checking out the... <laughs> the uh, oh, this is dark now. There's a reason for that. <laughs> um, uh, where is it? Was it here? Oh, yeah, right here. Um, and then two creepers, they spawned here, and this was lit up. <laughs> and both of them blew up, and we kind of had to fix our tower. Uh, so that was kind of frustrating. I didn't want to have to go through that every time. Uh, so yeah, so I upgraded to that version. Uh, there's another bug fix. And it says that uh, the mob pathfinding no longer leads them off big drops in negative coordinates. Not 100% sure what that means, but um, I think it's uh, those situations where, you know, they just keep wandering and then until they fall from a huge height and die. Maybe they won't do that anymore. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> uh, which is also nice. Uh, and there's a couple of changes in this version as well. Um, they say that the level generator has been updated, uh, so it's much faster, and the terrain seems to be much less mountainous. Uh, I did mention a couple of times uh, that this feels very mountainous, <laughs> and I didn't know that was a, a feature. I thought I just thought that's the way it was. Uh, so maybe we're not going to be seeing these uh, big mountains. Uh, very more very often and that's cool I think uh, at least uh, at, at least for this area of the world we do get those mountains and that's gonna make this area more special uh, other changes are that mobs now spawn less often so maybe we're not gonna be seeing those groups of you know seven or eight mobs spawning uh, at the same time, the other change is that the world automatically saves less often. Uh, mob pathfinding and behavior changed. It changed uh, world save format and saplings now grow into big trees. This is also something I have noticed. Um, the trees that we get when we plant uh, the saplings here, uh, they, al they always seem to be the small ones. Uh, maybe now we're gonna get the big ones, so uh, yeah, that, that, that might be interesting. We'll, we'll keep an eye on this. <laughs> uh, and yes, I wasn't peaceful <laughs> because uh, yeah, I kind of kind of had to change because you know <laughs> those th those two creepers that spawned here at my base. So anyway, we're back here at our base now, or our uh, temporary base. I'm not going to stay here forever. Uh, I gotta make another chest plate. And I'm searching for something new. 
to do. And I'm going to use the daylights here to go find it. Uh, by the way, I, I had named this area the Mob Sea due to all of the mobs that kept spawning in here or maybe they were spawning here someplace but they kept falling off the cliff <laughs> and since they changed that mechanic uh we might not see all those mobs here but we're, we're gonna keep the name because those names are what uh, what makes history uh, there are many things in our world that got named after something that is no longer there or you know <laughs> or what people thought was was uh was in a certain location you know so yeah that's gonna be mob c forever even though <laughs> we don't get mobs anymore and then in the future it could be a uh, very interesting story to tell uh and people would probably get puzzled as to why why is it called mob c <laughs> anyway i think uh that's going to be a fun name to, to keep. Um, I was reading about bridges <laughs> because I, I'm planning to build one. And they say that the first type of bridges, the type, first type of bridge that, um, that humans built were the Stepstone Bridge, which is basically this, uh, just stones. Uh, on the shallow part of the river where they could cross and I one point a few days ago I was just exploring this north area and I wanted to cross here and I thought this would be a great location for a stepstone bridge because we get like a pretty sure because we get a really short uh, shallow part of the ocean here so um, Happy to say that, uh, I'm proud to say that this is the first bridge of our world. <laughs> uh, that's not why we, but that's not why we are here. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. Uh, so, the last episode we built that uh, secret hideout, or I don't know, I don't have a name for that place yet, but I collected a lot of cobblestone. And I want to use that cobblestone for something. And I want to build a castle. We're going to go off in this direction. Uh, this is south. Uh, I don't remember if I mentioned that before, but uh, I think it's also due to a bug. Uh, the sun rises in the north in this version and it sets in the south. And I do use the coordinates quite a lot to navigate, so we'll keep that in mind. Uh, we're going south here. And I don't know, I just want to find like a... That's a big group of animals. But I see, I don't see uh, uh, hostile mobs spawning during the day anymore, so... That's good to know. <laughs> I do wonder if deserts are in the game. I'm still not quite sure about that. We got a nice uh, beach here. I'll take that. So we're going to find a location and then we're going to bring all of the materials here. So we can start uh, our building. Um, that was one, two, three, four, five, six sheep that spawned. Ah, there you go. That's another good opportunity to have a stepstone bridge. It's a bit laggy. Getting some, I'm getting some frame drops here, but uh, hopefully it's because it's generating new terrain. Gonna get dark soon, oh no. I kinda wanna go there. I wanna see from the 
top of that hill. Oh, you can see a line right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Does that mean this is new generation? It does look like it. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like it's this is the new generation, so maybe from this point onward. Oh yeah, you can clearly see. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's why this is what they uh they mean by making it less mountainous. Uh we might be looking at more of like this type of terrain. Oh, that's that's interesting. I love it. Uh, yeah, let's do a little more bridge here. I think we're we're too far. I don't want to go this far. And it is gonna get dark, so I don't want to be out here. I mean, at this point, it's kind of too late, but <laughs> still. We can start heading back home. Oh, I only have one piece of food. Oh, no. All right, I know you can eat raw pork chops, so we might have to do that to survive tonight. Yeah, let's put some. Oh. Ooh. I could swim back home. I'd be safer. Yeah, I discovered that uh, flint and steel... Uh, fire goes off after a few seconds. It's a shame because I wanted to use this to light up the, the lighthouse. I'm gonna set up camp here. I don't want to travel at night. And I want to test. Um, I forgot to check uh, if TNT is in the game since we have gunpowder. And I'm assuming that's how you make TNT, I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, it might not be that. I, th I think you need a lot more uh, gunpowder for this, so let's get some more. Ooh, he almost... Okay. Got five. Yeah, it is in the game. Okay, I knew it was something like this. Cool. Uh, but I, that explains the flint and steel. Uh, yeah, let's blow something up. Uh, can you come here? No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Worth a try, though. Is it gonna, gonna light it up or go? No? no. so dangerous. <laughs> let's uh let's go back a little bit. Ooh, okay. Uh, too many of them. <gasps> oh 
Oh my god. Can I put a tree on fire? Oh yeah, it does. Nice. I can use that to get ri get rid of all the leaves. Okay, we're gonna test this later, cause uh, <gasps> oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, okay, so you just, uh, you just touch it and then it activates. Okay. Oh, that was fast. Yeah. This mechanic here is new to me because, uh, I'll be honest, I, I, on my current survival world, I play with uh, fire spread off, so I don't know uh, much about <laughs> like if this is too fast or not actually, but uh, I think I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to rearrange. Yeah. Uh, let's make a new helmet. Nice, okay, we learned a lot. <laughs> uh, I, I call this the South Lake. Uh, I know exactly where I am. Spawn is uh, at the top of this mountain here. And our tower is in that direction. So, yeah, I, I've kind of explored this area a little bit, so... I have a rough idea where I am. I'm out of food, so... Can I get... Can I get a... The cooked version if I do this? Of course, it didn't drop anything. Yeah, this is evil. <laughs> but I'm, I'm learning. But they don't drop anything when you burn them, or...? Uh, maybe not. Oh, ah, they, they dropped the normal version, okay. Yeah, sorry, that was evil, but... <laughs> Yeah, I want to build a I want to build a castle in a location where I can see it, right? Um, I could even make use of this um, first stepstone bridge that I mentioned, and maybe have it somewhere around here, because uh, we got our tower there and we got the creeper head there. So why not um, somewhere here? Uh, this is a nice beach, by the way. We could extend this and eventually have like a very maybe tropical area. No, not not tropical, of course, but uh, maybe a place that we can come out here and swim in the ocean <laughs> in the future. Um, but for that, we would need to have like a home. Uh, maybe castle at the top of this mountain could be like a nice uh, vacation area. It's kind of flat. I could maybe dig this area a little bit or maybe at least flatten this area. Uh, one thing I don't have a lot of is dirt, so I mean, I could use the dirt by working here. Maybe remove one or two, maybe three layers so it will be flat enough. Yeah, they, they still spawn in, in like, a huge amount. <laughs> so, let's collect this wool here. 
yeah, and like I said, I think I mentioned that last episode, uh, we're always exploring, or not always, but our main goal is to always um, go west, which is in that direction. So it kind of makes sense that we're, we're leaving um, a few things behind and then we're moving in that direction. Wow, this is big. <clears throat> Oh, so it is closed off. I, I thought this was connected, uh, this ocean. Ah, we could TNT this whole place and connect. I don't see why not. <laughs> Got a nice forest here that we could uh, collect wood. Um, I want to try to do something different here see if this works oh, it's getting dark again uh, if I plant them like that wonder if they will grow if they do that will make it that will make it easier for me to chop trees okay this time we're heading back or actually let's set up camp is a even if I don't use this area for the castle, we can still have like a good, like a nice location. So, so yeah, always have a crafting table here and a furnace. If it was the early version of Minecraft, uh, if it was the newer version of Minecraft, I would always put a, a campfire. <laughs> okay, yeah. I think we're good. Let's, let's head back to our tower. I'm going to add a lot more torches on the side and see if that helps uh, visibility. If we can see better at night. Because that was the whole point of that. <laughs> so I could see from a distance. But I mean, I can see it, but it's, it's kind of dark and I, I guess it, it could look better. Okay, let's go to our... I need to have a proper exit here. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's go to... Uh, I think I, uh, I missed that floor. And the top one. That's okay. We'll, we'll fix that. go to our hidden to our uh, to our bunker and start bringing all of that uh, all of that cobblestone yeah now I can kind of see why uh, why Minecraft has an inventory problem these days. Uh, so there's a lot more blocks and items. <laughs> and the inventory space is, is exactly the same, so... I wish they, they added the, uh, the bundle to the game, because... Uh, I haven't used it yet, so I haven't tested, but I know that it could solve a little bit of the problem. Of the problem, oh my god. I don't think they regrow their wool. Right, I've never seen them eating the grass, so... Okay, so far I haven't seen any issues with with this version. So hopefully it's a stable version and we can stay here for a little longer. So before I commit to building something 
like a castle in here. I'm going to end the episode now. And I'm gonna do some tests with this version. <laughs> uh, just make sure that uh, there's nothing weird in here. Then if it's all good, we'll start building on the next episode. I think that uh, might be a good idea. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.